Oh, uh, it's user error. Okay. Um, this meeting is being held in accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act. Annual notice of this meeting was published in the Union County Local Source and the Newark Star Ledger. Said notice was posted in the municipal building, and a copy of this is on file with the Office of the Borough Clerk. I ad libbed there. Fires are located in, in the directions I'm indicating. If you are alerted for fire, please move in a calm, orderly manner to the nearest smoke free exit. Proper notice haven't been given. The Borough Clerk is directed to include this statement in the minutes of the meeting. Uh, Donna, please call the roll. Councilman Petrovsky. Here. Councilman Johnson. Present. Councilman Signorella. Here. Councilman Rabina. Here. Councilwoman Lyons. Here. Councilman Patel. Here. Mayor Signorella. Here. All present, Mr. Mayor. Uh, can you please lead us in the opening prayer followed by the Pledge of Allegiance? Eternal God, grant us thy help. In all our duties and perplexities, we ask for thy guidance. Give us thy protection in our dangers and sorrows. Grant us thy peace. Amen. Amen. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty, justice for all. Um, okay, so we have one proclamation this evening. Rose, is there anybody here for this, or is it just, am I just presenting this to you for the Women's History Month? Did I not tell you about this? Actually. Did we just kind of throw this one on there without talking to you? Yeah. Yeah, can we do it to the next one? Yeah. Because we actually have it. Um, we have nominations. It's in my report. Okay. I apologize. I did not let you go. You, no, no, you know, big, before that. no big deal. Andrew's, th there's been a lot of lapses of communication with Andrew not being out. Yes. Great job, Donna. <laughs> What's your text? <laughs> <laughs> We're well prepared. If there's any issues tonight, it's Donna's fault. <laughs> Um, okay, cool. So we'll wait to the next meeting. Yes. Sorry about that. No, I apologize. Yeah, okay. Uh, may I have a motion to approve meeting minutes pending any corrections? So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. May I have a motion that bills and payrolls be not paid and passed for payment? So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. May I have a motion to open the public portion on agenda items only? So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, anybody with agenda items, please come up. I am seeing no one. Um, may a motion? Oh, uh, may a motion to close the public portion on agenda items only? So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, reports. Why don't we start with Rich? Fill in. So just for everybody, I'm going to mention this. I'll just say it up front. Um, so uh, our BA and full time clerk. Andrew Sias has just had his first baby. Round of applause for Andrew. <laughs> Newborn baby boy. We're all very happy for him. So uh, Don is filling in for him tonight as clerk. And Rich is our deputy BA. He's got two hats tonight. So if you got anything from a BA perspective or, um, or your normal duties, feel free to go on ahead. What do you got? Um, I, no, it's all Donna's fault tonight if there's anything wrong. We discussed this already. So um, you might want to come over here to the mic, though, or take that mic or something. Oh, there is a mic there? Okay. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. So tonight I have two reports for you because um, my January report was not completed in a timely manner, because I believe last month our meeting was on the 1st, if I remember correctly, mm -hmm. uh, February 1st. So uh, for January, the construction code report is as follows. Um, 181 total permits were issued in January. Total revenue for the month was $31,371. Um, we had 12, uh, I'm sorry, 32 uniform construction code violations, which is quite a few. So we were busy there. Uh, property maintenance, we had 18 court dispositions. Total fines were, were $4,890. 106 violations were issued for January. There were 13 court summonses that were issued in January. Uh, I'm going to parlay now to the February report instead of going up because some of it's a repeat. Uh, so for February, we had 77 permits that were issued, short month. Total revenue through the end of February, $386,936. So we had a very active February as far as revenue. Uh, COA development fees, we had $2,384. Uniform construction code violations were 18. 19 court dispositions with total fines year to date of $6,667 through the court. 13 violations. 
and 10 court summonses for property maintenance. Um, as you can see, we're moving along quite nicely with the projects. Uh, Cappadaglia is moving along. They're hoping for a May occupancy for Building A, at least a partial occupancy at this point. The parking deck won't be completed, and based upon the parking requirement, unless something else transpires, most likely it's going to be about half the building. Fernmore is hoping for a May occupancy as well for the West Building and they are moving along quite nicely also. Uh, for zoning compliance, our, our DRC, we have um, Team Express Car Wash, which we um, had a DRC meeting. They'll be moving on to the board, I uh, believe it'll be next month. Uh, Amsterdam, 450 Amsterdam for a C1 variance for a deck, and uh, Grove Street for a uh, subdivision and C variances. So that's where we stand. Anybody have any questions? Um, you're going to stick around, right, Rich? I'm here all night. <laughs> okay, I just want to. <laughs> nice. Um, I just want to talk to you about the while we're here, the schlep thing that that you sure. had a meeting with. About. Absolutely. So just stick around, okay? Sure. Remind me if I if I don't get you afterwards, please. Um, Kenneth. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, we met with the committee. Uh, Budget Finance Committee, we're working on the budget and the capital at the same time. Uh, we'll probably, uh, I'll talk to the committee and we'll probably get something scheduled for uh, next week. And uh, taxes are passed due, so please pay them. And that's all I have right now, Mayor. I'd just like to confirm um, that we got a big uptick in municipal aid this year. I hear that we get five thousand dollars more in municipal aid this I, year. I think it's fifty-five hundred. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Fifty-five hundred. Great. Or fifty-five thousand. That's uh, a little less than the board of ed got. <laughs> Speaking of Board of Ed, Mr. President slash DBW Superintendent, would you like to come up? <laughs> <laughs> Good segue. Yeah, you slipped that one right in. <laughs> <laughs> How much did you guys get? Millions. <laughs> <laughs> okay. mm, weird. DBW report, please. <laughs> Good evening, Mayor, Council, Borough Representatives, and residents of Roseville Park. Um, we are fully staffed with eight DPW employees. That's one superintendent, one mechanic, five road guys. That in, that includes two operators, two class two laborers, and one laborer, and one clerical. In the month of uh, February, we had one sewer call that required uh, the jet truck. It was on the 600 block of Chestnut. Uh, on February 5th, if you recall, we did some exploratory work at the earlier in, or late to January, excuse me, we did some exploratory work at the intersection of Chestnut and William Street where we found that there was a collapse um, that was triggered by multiple calls about um, sewer backups. Uh, on February 5th, we had a vendor go out there and repair that work. Um, there is a moratorium by the county that requires us to, to pave that whole intersection. Um, today, um, I had a conversation with the bureau chief of uh, the county, and uh, due to the fact that Dowlings, which is under construction, did some road work, and we're going to patch the road right in between mm -hmm. or right adjacent to it, we're going to try to um, coordinate that so it gets paved all at one time. So Good. there's less disruptions, less cold joints, um, and it gets done at, at one time. Yep. Um, that work, we can assume at this point, there's no date set yet, but we can assume that that work's going to be done this spring. Um, today, Councilman at Large Signorella, police officer James Cantrell, and I met with uh, Rep Representative Roselle, Skoda, the county, and Elizabethtown Gas to discuss the upcoming gas line project on Locust. <laughs> this project will come into Roselle Park from Roselle up to the area of Warren Avenue. This project is tentatively, tentatively scheduled to start on, uh, on the Roselle side on March 28th and come into Roselle Park on April 1st. Again, that's all tentative. They are still waiting, I believe, for some state approvals. And um, Skoda mentioned something about also um, supplies. There will be a components of the project that will be done at night and or during the day. This project, again, is tentatively scheduled for about 10 to 14 days of work. Um, 
Oh, the project. At, so it's scheduled to be the week, the week that uh, the school district is off. So that that works to, I guess, our advantage. The other thing is they did mention that um, a representative of the gas company did mention that they're going to send out information to the homeowners along Locust and the businesses regarding the street closures or whatever the disruptions are in the days once they confirm it. Yep. On February 13th and 17th, we had enough snow accumulation to dispatch our DPW personnel for plowing, salting, and shoveling of borough properties and walkways, including crosswalks uh, where the crossing guards are posted. Um, sidewalk program. Um, there's no date yet set, but we're trying to get something started again for later this month. Once and this is a continuation rights. of what they didn't get to last year, or right. this is fresh? No, this is the continuation. They, we did the west side. Yep. There's one or two lingering on the west side. Okay. Um, but this is now moving every well, most of our efforts to the east side. Just weather got bad to finish the east side Correct. last yeah, year. Yeah, it got cold and okay. then the snow hit. and So the weather's starting to get favorable. Sorry, west now. side's Cranford side? Yes. Okay, got it. That's correct. Um, there's a, there are about 25 locations that are set, um, and then there's a, a handful, four or five, um, that I still need to in inspect. Mm -hmm. um, ba -ba -ba, that's that. Tree and property maintenance. In the month of February, we had two removals, nine tree trims and elevations, one stump removal, and that was topsoiled and seeded. That was with three, um, three working days. Mm -hmm. Two removals, nine tree trims and one stump removal. Um, street sweeper, for the exception of a few days around the snow disturbance, we had we had this month, the street sweeper is on its daily routine. As long as the temperatures stay, stay above freezing and favorable, the sweeper will remain on the road. Mayor, to answer your question about Lincoln, yep. um, the county does do it, but um, our working foreman does that route on Mondays. He does okay. Lincoln on Mondays. Oh, okay, got it, yeah, I, I had, Tuesday is on Signorello. Um, yeah, I noticed that it looks a little rough around the train station when you get to Lincoln. Yeah, on Lincoln, there's a lot of debris there. So, you know, um, even if you, even if there's like downtime with one of the guys, maybe you could just send them out there to pick up some stuff or something like that. It still okay. it looks better, but it still looks a little okay janky. I think it's partially because of the construction going on there. Yeah. But I, Rich, you might just want to give them a heads up. Like, I don't know if it's starting from there or just. You know, things get windy, but, like, when I walk to the train station, it's a cutely bad area for litter accumulation. Could be, yeah. So maybe you, you want to give them a fresh reminder there, too. Yep. Okay, thank you. Thank you. One last item I have is a bulk and vegetation pickup reminder. Bulk, bulk pickup uh, is on the last Thursday and Friday of every month. Uh, we get a ton of phone calls about this. West side is on the Thursday, east side is on the Friday. There is a limit of three bulk items per pickup. Um, I know there's plenty of, and I know you, everyone sees it, but there's plenty of homes that are, or residents that are putting out um, a lot of uh, bulk. Yep. Um, it's going to take people a couple months to get into the rhythm of it. We had the same issue when we changed recycling. Yep. Uh, vegetation waste is collected weekly by zone starting the first week of April. Thursday on the east side, Friday on the west side. So that's the first week of April. Um, Friday on the east side, I'm sorry, Thursday on the east side, Friday on the west side, and that runs through to the end of the year, December 31st. Okay. Um, Mayor, that concludes my monthly report. I just have one other question for you, Paul. Um, Andrew said, and I don't want to bother him while he's away, but I think he, he's good with email now and again when it's um, time sensitive. Did he ever send you a breakdown of the uh, new trees that we want to order for the spring? I think you were waiting. You were. No, I have, you I need have, to get that before you get a quote, right? Yes, that's correct. I haven't seen that. I did speak to Tim on uh, Coakley. Yep. Regarding he's filling out the Tree City grant um, information, so he did. We did go back and forth about how many trees were removed yep. last year, but there was no discussion about new trees. Can you do me a favor? Can you text him tomorrow and just say, "Can you shoot me over the breakdown of the trees that we need to order"? And I think Councilman Bashovsky, you have one that one couple, needs to get added to that yeah. plant. So maybe you could just either send an email to Debbie or Paul or something. Added? Just I'm sorry, added to? Added to the, you know, we have money to spend, so we might as well just add it to the order. Okay. Cool. Um, okay. Any questions for Paul? 
This one. Uh, when are you guys going for the potholes? I do have a list. Uh, can I just email it to you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, probably next week. I tried to get them out this week, but it rained four out of the five days. Yeah. So it was nearly impossible. Yep. And hey, while you're up here, I just want to say thank you for your uh, letter of support for the ARP Community Challenge. Thank you're you. welcome. Yeah, sorry that was last minute. <laughs> it's okay. um, uh, well, just has been an uptick. A lot of people have been putting uh, vegetation waste out. So I think just where I was listening, please just put it back on the side of your house for a while. I'm not sure if you're going to get uh, a warning for fine or whatever warning for having it out. But, as, you know, the, the warmer weekends, people put it out. So be patient. It's going to be another it's three, three, four weeks. three to four weeks. Yeah. Put it out. There's a lot out there, so. No, I, I noticed more today. So as and as the weather's favorable, obviously people are starting to yeah. clean up. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Uh, Ruben. Thank you, Mayor. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Um, on month of March, uh, on 12, we have the county surrogates will be visiting the center for a presentation on the duties of surrogate court, <clears throat> estate planning, and more. Presentation begins at 12 p.m. On March 14, seniors will be enjoying spring musical Disney's uh, Moana Junior at uh, Union Middle School. Uh, thank you to the musical uh, middle school for the donation and inviting our seniors to the show. On March 16, the borough will be hosting annual St. Patrick's Day uh, at the Casano Center. The event will take place from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. and will feature uh, free food and live music from Joe Carasali and Masterpiece Orchestra. Thank you, Senior uh, Sunrise Diner, for sponsoring the food and the Union County Board of Commissioners for the Heart Grant. On March 18, New Jersey Mobile Unit will be visiting the borough at the gazebo from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. The time has changed from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. to 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. this this year. So we're getting extra one hour. The following trans, uh, trans, transactions will be offered at the uh, mobile unit, real ID, travel license renewal, registration renewals, permits, and non-driver ID, license plates drop-offs. The following transactions cannot be uh, performed at the mobile unit business vehicle registration, CDL, knowledge test, out-of-state license transfer, permit test, and new titles. Uh, you can make your appointments by visiting our social media page or in uh, uh, visiting New Jersey's website, nj.gov forward slash MVC. Uh, on March 19th, uh, Union County Health Management will be visiting the center for a presentation on nutrition and colorectal cancer. On March 21st, seniors will be enjoying uh, Roger and Hammerstein's uh, Cinderella at Rosa Park High School. Thank you again for Rosa Park High School uh, musicals for donating tickets to our seniors. And on March 28th, we'll be having the job fair at Casano Center from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, please bring multiple uh, resumes uh, because there will be uh, on-site uh, interviews for those who are qualified. And thanks to Union County American Job Center for the partnership and for making this event possible. And that concludes my report, Mayor. Thank you. Um, I have one quick question. It's kind of random, but while I have you guys here, I'll kill two birds with one stone. Either Ken or Rupin would know this. So we've been going back and forth. I think we're 99% there with where your budget's going to be for events this year. But Ken, so, like, when we do, like, Zumba and, like, chair yoga and stuff like that, is there a separate budget for that in the Casano Center? Or are those free events? I don't, or they, we, we pay vendors for that, right? That is correct. We have the instructors, certified that comes instructors. comes out of the Casano uh, Community Center, other expense budget. Oh, okay. Got it. So there's another line for that? Yes. Okay. And then that's, that's, not like the use, that's not like the youth center where it's a trust. It's okay. Do you know off the top of the dome how much that is? For the community center? Uh... Somewhere around fourteen eight. What's that? Somewhere around fourteen eight. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I have a suggestion. A resident has a suggestion for a different type of event to happen there. Um, I, I I don't know if you're booked fully for the year, but I'd like to just explore to see if that's something we could also add. Absolutely. Um, I don't think it's going to be a huge expense, but we'll talk about it afterwards. Absolutely. Okay. Got it. Cool. Thank you. Cool. 
Uh, sorry, any other questions for Ruben? Yeah. What's the date again on the MVC? Uh, March 18. March 18? Mm-hmm, Monday. Monday, okay. Yep. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Cool. Thank Thanks, Ruben. Um, Coach Ranieri? Good evening, everyone. I'd like to thank Mayor Signorello and Town Council for giving me the opportunity to provide a brief update. Membership and recreation. We currently have over 480 recreational members. Homer Club and Aftercare. We currently have over 130 students daily. We are transporting, chaperoning over 86 students, and the ASYC handles over 1,100 student members per week. We remain committed to providing the best possible care and programming. We believe our department offers our community members a wide variety of programming. Our winter programming is as follows. Adult pickleball, middle school, high, high school adult fitness, adult basketball, off-season elementary, middle school, and high school volleyball, off-season baseball, and RP PAC Performing Arts Club. Winter sports and programming, elementary and middle school basketball, Basketball numbers are very good. We'd had, we had over 12 teams participating and competing in schools throughout the borough and county. We had 52 games scheduled, not including the playoffs and championship game. Join us this Friday at 715 in the high school main gym to watch the recreational basketball championships between the third and fifth grade teams, Adams and Serrano. Then at 815, the middle school championships between Gago and Rotman should be a great night. Elementary, middle school, and girls wrestling. Pee Wee Bantam, Central Jersey grade school, and girls teams have, have been competing since December in duels and tournaments throughout the state. We're happy to report our teams are representing Roselle Park well and had a number of tournament place winners and championships. We'd like to wish Cole Apello, Hunter Apello, Paul Toms, Jake Apello, Anthony Molinaro, and Lucia Ranieri the best of luck this weekend as they compete in the NJ USA State Wrestling Championships at the Cure Arena in Trenton, New Jersey. Spring Recreational Program Programming. We will provide an update once the dates and times are finalized. Lastly, the Recreation Committee and the Roselle Park Memorial Library will be hosting their annual Easter event on March 23rd at 10 a.m. on the library front lawn. The rain date is March 24th. As always, please contact the Recreation Department at recreation at roselpark.net with any questions or concerns. That completes our March Recreational Department update. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Yeah, I just have one quick one, Coach. Um, and sorry, I'm normally not this chatty during a meeting, but Andrew's not around, so <laughs> Rich and I are covering a lot of bases. Um, Tom Sofaro, our uh, Special Projects Engineer, uh, have you guys, did he ping you today about Acker Park at all? I think he's waiting on you guys for some input there or something yeah, like that. Yeah, spoke. Okay, you did. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, all right. Um, does, uh, what are, we're waiting on, uh, what, what, what's the, what are we waiting on right so now? So, the, the plans have a, a couple updates yep. that need to be put into it, and yep. then that will be sent over so they can overlay it on the survey. Okay, got it. I'm not pushing, but I just, we do want to, I think we want to try to break ground, I would say. And I know this sounds very far ahead, but these things go by pretty quickly. The, the plan is to not to have the park functional, I think, for the summer and into the fall, and then try and do it during the winter time to the best we can. Do you, when, uh, when's the next time you're going to talk to Tom, I guess, is my next question. Well, so we've had a number of conversations with the uh, potential design. Yep. Um, yep. Team, yeah, and uh, they're so they were supposed to have it to me by now, okay. So got it. So it's the design teams a little bit. Is, yeah. is that are we doing that in house or there's a vendor who's doing that? No, it's it's a it's a vendor. Doing oh, okay, got it. Yeah. Okay, cool. If you need we me to, this, we picked out all the equipment, yeah, and they put it on this layout, yeah, and they're just making a few changes. Got it. So it's the, the vendor's doing the layout, and then Tom's going to do the actual Overlay. real layout for the engineering piece of it on okay. top of the survey. Yes, if I need to play like mean mayor and poke them, just feel free to loop me in on an email. Sometimes Sometimes things go faster if the mayor emails them. Just okay. let me know. I'll let you know tomorrow if cool. I don't hear back. All right, awesome. Great. Any other questions? Yeah, so, Coach. Oh, yeah, you, you go, go first, Joe. No, no you go. All right, I'm going. So, Mayor and Coach, so we're looking to make like October 15th, November 1st, break ground and 
hopefully have a, a mild winter and hopefully we're open back in May of uh, 25. Is that what you're saying for the? I mean, that's the rough idea. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's it, the part the park is not perfect the way it is, but it is functional, right? right? So the, the goal is to do construction when the park is used less, which is during the winter, more or less. Okay, so, so if that's the case, then I'm going to uh, meet Paul. I think we need a couple of hours, a little TLC on stuff to get through the winter and maybe a $20 coat of paint of uh, something hacker just to be, uh, you know, to get through the $20 summer. coat of paint. Well, I don't 20, know if you're getting $20 that. bucket of paint or whatever, <laughs> whatever. Just, I, I'm Ken to the right of me. I'm sure. Like, yeah. But, but to, 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 so I think don't spend a lot of money. <laughs> it's, we don't want, yeah. I think, I think I would get run out of town more than I have been recently for the last five years. If I shut down Acker park for this summer right. and fall. Right. So, I think uh, if you guys want to tactically come up with some fixes for the meantime, I don't think we're breaking ground until late fall would be my guess. Yeah. So that, that, that's what I was just curious because. Um, I mean, unless there's a re the only the only caveat is this is a direct state aid imp infusion right. we got. If they say we need to spend it all by this year, then we're going to hop to it. But I don't think that's the case. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Joe. Um, John, I know we have talked about this. Uh, when are you going to bring the uh, kids in for the, uh, the council meeting? Uh, we said for the second meeting in April? Yeah, I believe that would work best. Oh, yeah. That's Just what because I the first one's during spring break. You're right. Yeah. Okay. So we'll, it's the second meeting in April. Correct. I believe it's the 18th. Uh, sounds familiar. Yeah. Besides the third Thursday, whatever that is. Yeah. 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 Okay. No. And okay. then we'll, we'll forward the. Uh, you know the mayor's office all the information okay and, and you'll get the, the list to the yeah. all the kids name yep. and we're bringing wrestling in too. Bas for basketball three through five champions um basketball middle school champions and wrestling state qualifiers and okay. place winners okay okay that's good yep. perfect thank you cool nothing else for me anybody else you always cool. do a great, great job all right thank you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> have a good night everyone thank you uh i think kevin's the last one right come on up bud Oh, before you start, you can come up, uh, but I, I, Steve Thompson's not here. I'm sure Councilman Signorello was going to mention this, but w nobody knows we have grant writers. We used, we started using grant writers for the first time since forever, two years ago. Um, they've well earned their money, and they did a really good job this year. The FD is not here, but I just want to draw attention. We got a $75,000 grant um, for the fire department, which is really great for all turnout kit, um, which is just like stuff we're not going to have to buy going forward. So, you know, great job, Aubrey Group. I'm sorry if I stole your thunder, Sig Jr., but um, while Steve, I just saw Steve's name, and it, and it came to me. So you guys didn't do anything for that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> What's up? What's up, Kevin? Much, uh, good evening, Mayor Council. Thanks for having me. Get us um, sewer sewer grants is what we need you to get. Yes, we are definitely going after that. Okay, we're going to start filing. We'll, yeah. we'll get into it. We're going to start filing with the iBank on cool. the sewer project. But yep. uh, to start, um, we were asked to look at Beachwood and West Colfax as a DOT property that has some of the drainage issues. We reached out to them. We kind of got passed back and forth through a couple of departments. So we're just waiting on... Um, then to respond with a positive, uh, whether or not to move forward. But we'll reach out to them again next week um, just to see where they're at on that. But right now it's with the DOT. Uh, we were also look, asked to look at a rain garden at the uh, Triangle Island at Beachwood and West Lincoln. Um, just due to the grades and the location of that, it doesn't look like it's viable. But okay. there is an area down the street from that, actually, at the intersection of Ashwood and Amsterdam, which also kind of forms in a triangle which looks like might be a better location, just kind of seems like it receives more water and there's an inlet right next to it, so it kind of Does that look like Rosal Park land, or is that, it's not private property, right? Or does it yes, yeah, it's Rosal Park. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know which area he's talking, you, you know what he's talking about? Okay. Yeah. Does that look like a spot that works? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, so it might be, a, so I'll give you some options on what we can do there, but that looks like a better area to, to cool. propose that. Yeah. Um, we were also looked, asked to look at a couple traffic uh, studies for a few intersections, uh, Chestnut, uh, Lincoln Avenue, and, um, Fig 2 Avenue, and then there's three locations, Seaton Avenue, West Webster, and West Lincoln. We got the crash data for that. Our traffic group is going through it right now, so we'll propose um, a scope and kind of some ideas there for that. So once uh, we, we get through a little bit more of that traffic uh, crash history, we'll propose something there. Cool. Yeah, and just so everybody knows what that is, I mean, Fig 2 has been 
um, a problem area for since I got elected, probably before then. It actually was better before when the road was in bad condition. As soon as it got paved, it's a speedway. Um, the county is amenable to us. I, look, everybody wants more signage. I'm sorry. I don't think signage works. Um, people blow through it. I would like to actually see stop signs or uh, stop signs or traffic lights, um, which, you know, let's see what we can do with the county. I think they might be a little bit tougher with that. But very specifically, I'm, I'm hoping that there's a justification for it at Chestnut and Lincoln, because I got to tell you, as somebody who walks to the train station like at night mm. there is zero regard for any pedestrians there so the, the initial look when i talked to our traffic group that was the first thing that came to mind was a traffic light for that Beautiful. specific intersection cool so good um we also are looking at speed humps for west colfax and laurel um, we're just waiting on tra traffic counts from that we're reaching out to the county just to get some information on that because <laughs> right now that road doesn't qualify for um Speed hump just because of the amount of traffic that's on that road. Yep. But if we get new updated counts and it shows lower traffic, you can justify it. So we're just waiting for the county. I think the residents there, I don't want to speak for the fifth ward councilman, but I think it's, I think something needs to be done there. And I think rumble stripes should and suffice. Curb extensions, I was thinking. Curb extensions? Psh, you're crazy. It's expensive. <laughs> How expensive? Well, we, group, can you get uh, can you get some grant funding for? It? We'll we'll cost it out. I I, I think I think it's, it's temporary th temporary delineators. Sure. I, well, oh, temporary. You're talking about? Oh, oh that's we'll a different. Put story. delineators there and see how that works out. If it's effective, then we can. Proceed. Yeah. So there's yeah there's a few options with with striping signage, rumble strips, you know, doing curb bump outs. If if we can't do the, the speed humps, there's other options you can kind of okay. add to, which we'll propose. And, yeah. I think the only, the other thing with curb bump outs is I actually like them, but it does take away parking, and we get grumbling for that too. But whatever. Finish the study. We'll talk about it after that. Yep. Um, and then the last, the big storm sewer project right now, we're just waiting for Elizabeth. They have a couple of the layouts that we proposed. Um, they're reviewing it. Um, once they review it, they're going to reach out to us to kind of discuss those layouts and then move forward with one of them. Were they amenable? Like, was the, was the vibe like they're doing it just to tick a box? Or, like, was it like they're re receptive to really review all three options? They are not really receptive to options that are mainly on their roads. Okay. So um, I think they'll, they'll concede to further down Route 28 where we where the, where the um, hump is down by Cherry Street. Sure. I think they'll agree to that. But um, it looks like they're pushing more towards the county road and then San 28 to most. But the there road. might be a middle ground that wasn't there before. Yes. That's good news. So okay. We're just cool. waiting for them to review it, and they'll reach out to us, and we'll hopefully push them in, you know, in the way to keep it on their roads. Okay. Cool. Any questions for Kevin? Then we're also looking for financing for that, too. We're going to start – we'll start the process now with the iBank uh, financing, and then we'll look for other funding sources. Over you told me it was too soon. <laughs> you know, it, it, it was a little bit too soon. We were waiting for a confirmation from Elizabeth if they actually agreed to a, a, an alignment that we, use, <laughs> that we can use for, for the submission. Um, but what we're going to do is basically take the worst case scenario and, okay. and file that. You can always not accept as much Co money. Correct. Yeah. Which is, I think, at this point, we just need to yep. plan for the worst case. Yep. So that's what we'll do. Um, okay. Wow, there's a lot going on. Okay, cool. <laughs> Any other questions? No, just uh, Kevin, just keep me updated with the uh, Woodside Gardens issue with the OT and, and the rain guard. Yes. Yeah, well, right. awesome. Thank, right. you. Cool. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Good night. Uh, okay, I think that's. Did I miss any reports? No. Okay. Uh, may I have a motion to accept the reports uh, of departments as submitted? So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, okay. Uh, Madam Clerk, please read ordinance number 2767 by title. An ordinance amending Chapter 7 of the Code of the Borough of Roseville Park entitled Traffic, repealing Section 44 entitled Business Only Parking. May I have a motion to open the public hearing on ordinance number 2767? So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody like to come up and speak on this ordinance specifically? I'm seeing no one. May I have a motion to close the public hearing on ordinance number 2767? So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. May I have a motion to adopt ordinance number 2767? So move. Second. Uh, is there any discussion? Donna, please call the roll. Councilman Petrosky? Yes. Councilman Johnson? Yes. Councilman Signorella? Yes. Councilman Robina? Yes. Councilwoman Lyons? Yes. Councilman Patel? Yes. That's affirmative, Mr. Mayor. Uh, thank you. Uh, Please read ordinance number 2768 by title. An ordinance amending chapter 7, section 43 of the code of the borough of Russell Park entitled Combat Wounded slash Purple Heart Parking. Uh, may I have a motion to open the public hearing on ordinance number 2768? So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Would anybody like to come up and speak on this ordinance? 
I'm seeing no one. May I have a motion to close the public hearing on ordinance number 2768? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We have a motion to adopt ordinance number 2768. So moved. Second. Is there any discussion? Donna, please call the roll. Councilman Petras. Yes. Councilman Johnson. Yes. Councilman Signorella. Yes. Councilman Rabino. Yes. Councilwoman Lyons. Yes. Councilman Patel. Yes. All affirmative, Mr. Perfect. Uh, please read ordinance number 2769 by title. An ordinance amending Chapter 4, Section 10 of the Code of the Borough of Roselle Park entitled Peddlers, Canvassers, Transit Merchants, and Artists. Uh, may I have a motion to open the public hearing on ordinance number 2769? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, anybody that want to come and speak? Yeah, I'm seeing no one. May I have a motion to close the public hearing on ordinance number 2769? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. May I have a motion to adopt ordinance number 2769? So moved. Second. Uh, any discussion? No, uh, yeah, may I, just real quick. Um, yeah. um, I think this is a, a perfect amendment compared to the old uh, wording and and, and um, there's still a couple of things that need to be tweaked. I, I know I talked to you offline, but yep. uh, we'll wait until Andrew comes. But this is good as is. So. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's better than it was. <laughs> Way better than what it was. <laughs> uh, but I, I, let's get this locked in, and we can tweak it afterwards. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. Um, any other discussion? Please call the roll, Donna. Councilman Petrosky. Yes. Councilman Johnson. Yes. Councilman Signorello. Yes. Councilman Rabina. Yes. Councilwoman Lyons. Yes. Councilman Patel. Yes. Okay. Please read ordinance number 2770 by title. An ordinance amending chapter 10, section 4, subsection 4.1 of the code of the borough of Russell Park entitled Recreation Fees Enumerated. May I have a motion to adopt the ordinance, uh, open the public hearing on ordinance number 2770. So moved. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Would anybody like to come up and speak on this? I'm seeing no one. May I have a motion to close the public hearing on ordinance number 2770? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 May I have a motion to adopt ordinance number 2770? So moved. Second. Is there any discussion? Donna, please call the roll. Councilman Petrosky? Yes. Councilman Johnson? Yes. Councilman Signorella? Yes. Councilman Provina? Yes. Councilwoman Lyons? Yes. Councilman Patel? Yes. Affirmative, Mr. Mayor. Perfect. Uh, Donna, please read an ordinance number 2771 by title. An ordinance amending Chapter 2, Article 4, Section 33 of the Code of the Borough of Roselle Park entitled Board of Health. May I have a motion to open the public hearing on ordinance number 2771? So moved. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody want to come and speak on this one? Jeanine Goodis, looks like you burn with passion for this. <laughs> okay, got it. Thank you. Appreciate that. May I have a motion to close the public <laughs> hearing on ordinance number 2771? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. May I have a motion to adopt ordinance number 2771? So moved. Second. Is there any discussion? Please call the roll. Councilman Petrosky? Yes. Councilman Johnson? Yes. Councilman Signorella? Yes. Councilman Rabina? Yes. Councilwoman Lyons? Yes. Councilman Patel? Yes. It's affirmative, Mr. Mayor. Great. Um, before I go on to this next bit, oh no, this one's good. Um, Donna, can you please read ordinance number 2772 by title? An ordinance amending chapter 4, section 11, subsection 2 of the Code of the Borough of Russell Park entitled Local License Required. Uh, may I have a motion to approve ordinance number 2772 for introduction and fix the date for second reading and public hearing as March 21st, 2024. Um, so moved. Second. Is there any discussion? So I just, um, I know Councilman Johnson brought this up. Um, I, I think it's a good idea. Um, the only thing, Councilman Johnson and I talked about this offline, and uh, Madam Borough Attorney, I'm just going to talk talk to you in case there's anything we need to do here. There's a, a amendment that I think at least Councilman Johnson and I are aligned on. So this is basically, we have a seven-person cannabis board right now. It is the mayor plus police chief plus borough administrator. I'm forgetting all the people, right? But it's the borough professionals. The proposal is to add a eighth member, which would be a member of the council selected by the council. Totally cool. Um, I, I like having a, a odd number, right, in case there's a tie break. So I think we're... I, Councilman, I don't know if you want to make an, uh, a motion that we would add a ninth. Yeah, yeah, of, I'll make that motion. Of a member of the public uh, appointed by the mayor. Um, the only question is, is um, I guess this is, has to be advertised, right? So can we just make the motion and, ad, and advertise with the... As, the, uh, as, as, as vote amended? Vote on the amendment and yeah. then advertise the amended. Okay, got it. Okay, so that's the one piece of discussion that I have. I... I Councilman Johnson, if you're comfortable making that motion, yeah, great. Yeah. If not, I'll second it. Okay. Um, I forget. Can you do a discussion on the motion? Yes, you can discuss the 
amendment, vote on the amendment, and then vote for the, and then take the final vote for the introduction. Thank you. We don't do this often. Great job. Your job's harder than Joe. <laughs> Joe Joe's had it easy since <laughs> since since uh, he started. Yeah, he said it. He never talks. He never, he really doesn't. It's just when there's a replacement, we get difficulties. Uh, okay, any discussion on the amendment as presented? Okay, Donna, please call the roll on the amendment. Councilman Petrosky. Yes. Councilman Johnson. Yes. Councilman Signorello. Yes. Councilman Rubina. Yes. Councilwoman Lyons. Yes. Councilman Patel. Yes. It's affirmative, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Um, now, can I entertain conversation as the, or no, now we just have to vote on the amended as amended. Uh, yeah, right. Okay, got it. Thank you. Somebody's reading Robert Rules. Good oh, job. Um, okay, uh, Donna, do you want to call the roll as amended? Who, 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 who offered and seconded? Um, Intro as amended. Join the second. Uh, it was, oh, as amended? Yeah, as amended, you have yeah, you to take it. Oh, okay, got it. Can I get a motion to adopt as amended? So moved. Second. JP. And roll. Councilman Petrosky. Yes. Councilman Johnson. Yes. Councilman Signorella. Yes. Councilman Rabina. Yes. Councilwoman Lyons. Yes. Councilman Patel. Yes. See, that was smooth. That's because Donna won. I got Rosanna. Yes, on a weed vote too. That was wild. <laughs> I was gonna say no. <laughs> no we gotta have I a might be able to be on the board. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> gotta be a representative of the council. <laughs> <laughs> That's a smart move. <laughs> You're there learning you this. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and I count that as a no vote for everything that comes up. <laughs> got it? Kanjan, you're on the board for weed. Great, you got my support, bud. <laughs> uh, well, yes on everything. Yeah, I appreciate that, brother. Okay, may I? <laughs> um, so I'm actually, I'm, and I'm going to go back to the borough attorney for a second here. I actually want to, Andrew, our BA and clerk, made this up. He's on paternity leave right now. There's a couple things that I want to go through with him in finer detail. I there's two things that we can do, right? So I can we can table this until he's back. This or the next order. The next one, right? Yeah, so this is 2773. Um my gut is so we would still need to go through those changes in the meeting that it's tabled till, right? So let's just say we table it till the second meeting in April, right? If I have proposed changes, we would need to discuss those changes in real time. He can't make changes in the meantime, correct? I have a question. Can we just vote? just one? Can I just I just I want to get a curious. So you're going to introduce this tonight? And well, so there's two things we could do. We could introduce it and table it, or we can vote it down and just put on the agenda a new version of it with with modifications. Is what I'm looking for guidance on. Um, you could do either way if you if you just table it now and then bring it up as a new ordinance at a later date that then have all the amendments taken care of then and you can just advertise as the fresh amend, uh, the fresh ordinance without having to worry about okay it. got it did i ask for a motion on this yet i'll let you get to you in a second councilman did i ask for a motion on this yet for discussion okay now uh so just one sec conjon may I have a motion to approve ordinance number 2773 for introduction and fix the date for second reading and public hearing is march 21 2024 so move second is there any discussion go ahead councilman yeah i was just thinking about it would be better off us to water down and bring it later instead of tabling it. Yeah, I, I kind of agree. I mean, the text is already there. He could just uh, do it, it as, a, as a fresh one. There, like, it's, there's nothing major here, but there's a couple, this is a tricky one, and there's a couple nuances I want to go through with Andrew. So, look, my, uh, you guys do what you want to do. I think it's easier to vote down unless you guys really want to table it or, or vote in the yes, but up to you guys. Any further discussion? No. Donna, please call the roll. So what are we doing? Are we... Are we we're going to vote on it, my, unless, I mean. So we're introducing it, but now you're going to vote it. N well, so I don't think we're going to introduce it. So yeah. Vote it yeah. I, I mean, I guess. I don't, you guys do what you got to do. We're going to vote no. Yes. 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 My proposal would be, if council's amenable to it, right. to vote no on this. Correct. Okay. Uh, that would be my proposal. Again, do what you want to do. Um, but uh, uh, to vote no on it, we'll probably reintroduce something similar to this. But yeah, there's a couple things that I want to add and adjust before we reintroduce it. <laughs> Andrew's going to be like, what the hell did you guys do? But that's okay. I'll, I'll talk to him about it. Yeah. Yeah, please. That's what I figure. Start fresh. Yeah. 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 I don't think we're, I don't think we're far off. I think it's 95% there, but I think there's a couple nitpicks that I want to go through. Yeah. I'm sure it will. As what it always does with parking. Okay, got it. Um, call the roll. There's no other discussion, right? Call the roll. Councilman Petrosky. No. 
Councilman Johnson. No. Councilman Signorella. No. Councilman Rabina. No. Councilwoman Lyons. No. Councilman Patel. No. That's six negatives. Okie dokie, all matters listed with an asterisk are considered to be routine and non-controversial by the council and will be approved by one motion. There will be no separate discussion of these items unless a member of the governing body so requests, in which case the item will be removed in consent agenda and considered in its normal sequence on the agenda as part of the general orders. Donna, please read all resolutions listed on the consent agenda by title. Okay, 82-24, authorizing a program agreement between the Borough of Rosa Park and Hoda A. Saul. In connection with the Russell Park Housing Rehabilitation Program, case number RP55, for the improvement of the property located at 227 Sherman Avenue, known as Block 1102, Lot 9 of the Municipal Tax Map. 83-24 is establishing the 2024 summer hours schedule for Barrel Hall. 84-24 is awarding a contract to LTI, Inc., pursuant to options A and C2 of the advertised bid specifications, the lawn and grounds maintenance in an amount not to exceed $170,500. 85-24 is approving the time due calculation in terms of final payment for Ryan Urban. 86-24 is awarding a contract to MZ Contractors, LLC, for the project Rosal Park Housing Rehabilitation Program case number RP54, an amount not to exceed $24,600. 8724 is authorizing change order number one to DLS Contracting Inc. for the project improvements to Clay Avenue, year 49 CDBG, in the amount of a $65,369.74 decrease to reflect a total contract amount of $235,926.76 after all change orders. 88-24, authorizing closeout of the contract with DLS Contracting Inc. for the project improvements to Clay Avenue, year 49, CDBG. Uh, 8924, authorizing the treasurer to issue two checks totaling $1,227.15 payable to two lien holders on two properties and one check totaling $900 from the tax collector's premium account. 90-24 is authorizing and redesignating a conditional redeveloper for the project for the property identified as Block 503, Lots 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 on the tax map of the borough, of the borough and authorizing the execution of an interim cost agreement with respect thereto. 91-24 is memorializing the automatic renewal of the shared service agreement with the Town of Westfield for the public health services for calendar years 2024 and 2025. Cool. Uh, I'm pulling 90-24. Are we pulling anything else? Yeah, uh, Mayor, want to pull 84? Sorry, which one? 84. Yep, okay, cool. Um, okay, uh, may I have a motion to approve the resolutions remaining on the consent agenda? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 May I have a motion to adopt resolution 84-24? So moved. Second. Is there any discussion? Yes, uh, Mayor. Uh, Superintendent? Superintendent? If you don't mind coming up to explain 84. <coughs> Can you come up to explain 84? The resolution regarding LTI? It's the uh, long. the gra long cutting, grass cutting. Yeah, yeah, just to. Yeah, uh, that's fine. Yeah, we spoke about it in detail, but just. Fake it till you make it. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any specific questions or just general? No, if you could just, just generally. So, so, yes, they have a, the, they're, <clears throat> they're on a two year term. Yep. Um, they're going to do lawn and grounds maintenance from April to the end of the, the year. Um, there is a list, an extensive list of properties that they will maintain, including the basins. The last time we had a vendor, uh, the DPW was taking care of the basins, but the vendor was taking care of all the, the borough properties, including Route 28 and a few other uh, ancillary uh, locations. But um, so that was, but that was two years ago. We tried to internalize it last that's year. That's correct. Right? Yeah, that's right. Got it. Yep. Um, <clears throat> So um, I don't know exactly what date they're going to start and what day. Um, when we had a vendor two years ago, it was every Thursday. Um, some of the areas are done weekly. Most of the barrel properties are going to be done weekly. The basins will be done every two weeks. There will be some during the dry, arid summer months. There will be times where they're going to probably go every three weeks on at, at the basins just because it's unnecessary. Mm -hmm. Um, but um, we will just maintain it and watch over what they're doing. There was a question today about who's, who's, if 
they're responsible to take care of the um, trash racks. That's not in their scope of work. We, we, the DPW will continue to trash mark. racks is the in the basins. There's there where the trash collects before it goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good question. Okay. Um, we will continue to monitor those uh, trash racks. Okay. Great. Thank you for the explanation. Any questions for Paul while he's up here? Any further discussion? Please call the roll. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Councilman Petroski. Yes. Councilman Johnson. Yes. Councilman Zimmerella. Yes. Councilman Rabina. Yes. Councilwoman Lyons. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, may I have a motion to adopt Resolution 90-24. So move. Second. Sometimes I was say somebody's got a second at least. Um, so uh, I uh, I'd like to have a motion to table this indefinitely um i think uh look we've had uh, we've been looking at the ryan pro property for a long time for redevelopment um unfortunately it's lost a lot of momentum um it has been about three years since we've last engaged on this um you know through a myriad of issues of covid and timing and yada 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 we have a new council up here uh i do not think that mayor or council feels comfortable going forward with this until we've refreshed ourselves and found a way forward with a project that makes sense for the area um so i don't know if there's much else to be said for there but i'd love to entertain a motion to table this indefinitely i'll make that motion second all in favor oh all no right. uh, oh sorry please call the roll donna Okay. Councilman Petroski? Yes. Councilman Johnson? No. Councilman Signorello? Yes. Councilman Rabina? Yes. Councilwoman Lyons? No. Councilman Patel? Yes. Okay, so you have one, two, three, four yes and two negative. Okay. You guys don't want to table it or so <laughs> fine. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Reports of Borough Council's committees. Uh, Councilman Rubina. Thank you, Mayor. Good evening, Rose Hill Park. These last couple of weeks, there's been a lot of constituent outreach, infrastructure, park, and safety related. Thank you to my residents on Ashwood for reaching out regarding a speeding and pedestrian safety issue on Ashwood and Amsterdam. And thank you to Chief Reno for immediately responding. As a result, Chief recommends adding a traffic control device to make this intersection safer and more controlled. Stop sign will be proposed on Ashwood and Amsterdam intersection. An ordinance to request this approval will be at the next meeting. On February 26th, I attended the Municipal Land Use Board meeting. The application was to recognize placement of a freestanding air conditioning equipment in a front yard area requiring a sea variance relief for a home on West Webster Avenue. I, along with board members, approved this request. After that, I recused myself and a preliminary final site plan hearing occurred for 441 East Westfield Ave, Cannabis MD, which resulted in the application being approved. On February 28th, I attended a SAFE network meeting. SAFE stands for Streets Are For Everyone. It's a New Jersey Bike and Walk Coalition initiative. It was on planning bike activities in the community and how partners can help municipalities like ours with free and low cost resources to make our streets safer for vulnerable road users. Reminder, May 4th is our inaugural tour de Roselle Park bike clinic and helmet giveaway. Yesterday, I was on a USDOT and Federal Highway Administration webinar on the executive summary and general overview on the manual on uniform traffic control devices, 11th edition update. It defines the standards used by road managers nationwide to install and maintain traffic control devices on all streets, highways, pedestrian and bike facilities, and site roadways open to public travel. There's a big emphasis on micro mobility and bike and pedestrian safety now. That day, I also represented the borough at the Union County Transportation Advisory Board meeting. And for the second year in a row, Roselle Park has representation on the executive committee, with Jackie Garcia being nominated as second vice chair among members from all 21 municipalities in the county. Any transportation related items within the borough, please reach out as tab representative for the borough. And congratulations, Jackie. Now, regardless of state highway, county road, or municipal roadway, speeding is a challenge in general in our borough. I wanted to thank Union County and the Bureau of Traffic Management for assisting Chief Reno and Officer Cantrell with conducting the speed study last month on West Colfax between Locust and Fate 2. Kevin had referred to this or, uh, earlier. This is the area behind the high school and at the athletic field. Uh, I mentioned it briefly at the last meeting. 
So we found that 4,700 vehicles travel this route daily, uh, daily, which exceeds DOT guidelines for speed hump placement at 3,000 vehicles per day. As per the report, the 85th percentile of road users were at 36 miles an hour in a 25 mile an hour zone. As a result, we'll be implementing other traffic calming measures, including increasing police presence when resources permit, painting a parking lane as a road dieting tactic, and implementing speed radar trailers. Any other recommendations from advocates, residents, and professionals will be helpful and appreciated. As Kevin mentioned earlier, the curb extensions, I'd like to see those in the area. So we'll be working on temporary demonstrations this spring and summer. Lastly, I'd like to say thank you to Mayor Signorello, Administrator Casayas, Superintendent Goyce, and BOE President Biamonte for supporting one of my initiatives, applying for the AARP Community Challenge Grant Program to purchase and, out and install an outdoor fitness park consisting of six pieces of equipment on Board of Ed property that will offer all seniors and residents an opportunity to improve their physical and mental health. It's a strong application, and fingers crossed we win this grant. Saturday, March 9th, I'll be at the Conference Center at Mercer in West Windsor for the New Jersey League of Municipalities Budgeting Conference. Here I'll get a refresher on budget law overview, the importance of budgeting, history of state aid, mandates, and other issues impacting budget, and utilizing a trend analysis and how to create a five-year budget projection. Fifth Ward, you know I'm here for you. I can be reached at jrubine at roselpark.net, 862-236-0019. Mayor, that concludes my report. Thank you, Councilman. Councilman Patel? Good evening. Just, just a reminder, the Environmental Commission's first ever repair cafe is scheduled for March 23rd at the Casano Center from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. We'll, we will have many repair services available like light jewelry, sewings repair, uh, knife sharpening, shoe repairs, small electrics, and wood items, among other things. If this event is successful, the commission will aim to host the other cafe at least once per year. So make sure to come out and to the event and get your stuff fixed for free. Uh, that's all I have for today. Uh, if you need to get in contact with me, you could email me at kpatel at rosalpark.net. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. Councilwoman Lyons. Good evening, Maya and, <laughs> and Council and residents of Roselle Park. Uh, past couple weeks, I have been visiting the schools um, and we have done uh, teaching on kindness and we did a craft with the pre-K. Um, I want to mention that because um, I've actually been in communication with um, several residents and kindness needs to happen amongst the adults, <laughs> especially with parking. Um, and um, so just to if you're listening to this and just keep that at, at your heart um there's just great things happening in Roselle Park the spring is literally uh coming very uh quickly and um best thing to do get on the app Roselle Park app it's actually here everything that Rupin said and what we're mentioning um it's there um but i do want to uh mention obviously actually um it's women's history month so Happy History, uh, Women's History Month, ladies. Ladies, um, tomorrow is International Women's Day, and I am actually hosting a Women Inspiring Women Night uh, next Friday, March 15th, um, at Costa, 7 p.m. Uh, I would love for all the ladies of Roselle Park to show up. We have about 40 to 50 people coming. Um, we also have karaoke coming that night. <laughs> um, also, if you have not nominated your favorite woman, please nominate. Uh, we would love to honor her at our next council meeting. Um, and also, in April, April 12th, I want to announce that we actually are setting up a karaoke night for all to come at Costa's, and that's April 12th. And uh, that concludes my report. Thank you. Thank you, Councilwoman. Councilman Petrosky. <clears throat> thank you, Mayor. Uh, first of all, I want to send condolences out to Margaret uh, Apello Ortizo, um, Eva Capassi, uh, Maria Tanini, Thomas Nardone, and Jim Talbert. Um, I was involved in a little league in basketball with Jim for many years, and he was definitely an asset to the league. Um, actually, uh, the batting cage down the little league field um, he he actually put it up, most of it, uh, with the help uh, of the league, and I appreciate all he did. 
uh, past president of the Little League, um, coached basketball for both his sons. Uh, my condolences go out to him. On February 19th, I went to a historical meeting. Um, uh, Linda McCready was our president that night. Great job. Okay. Um, on the 22nd, uh, we had a budget meeting, as Ken uh, said, we're get, uh, going through. Uh, I definitely, it'll be better this year than it was last year. On the uh, 23rd, I attended the fundraiser at the American Legion. Okay. Uh, Rosanna and uh, uh, Greg, thank you. Um, it was a good event. Um, we're trying to help them out uh, financially and everything, so they're going to have these uh, uh, events. So hopefully, uh, people uh, find out uh, when they are and you support the Legion. But uh, don't forget, these are our veterans that uh, was there for us. Um, some fought in wars and everything like that, and uh, like my counter right here. Thank you for your service. <laughs> okay, um, and everything. So I, you know. I always, uh, my father was a, uh, during the Korean War, and I, I you know, like I said, I'm very uh, proud um, thing, and, my, you know, I appreciate all the, what the veterans have done for, to us. So come out and support them. Um, on the uh, 29th, I went to the, the next budget meeting. I want to, uh, th again, thank Ken for all your, um, I love that pen you have. You sharpen it, and uh, you, you get us where we're going. But I, I really I uh, appreciate it, OK? Um, on March 4th, I attended the fire department meeting. And uh, I, I like to say something about the fire department. There was a bad fire on Walnut Street. And I really, uh, you see who our heroes are. They were down there. They, uh, they took control of it. Uh, yes, uh, and the, even the resident that got the most damage, her house, she was appreciative of what the fire department was um, and everything. And I, uh, I got there, I was at a funeral that day in Pennsylvania, but I did get there toward the end. And I seen how these firemen, uh, you know, I, again, they're my heroes. They, they were there, they helped. Uh, even the, like I said, a couple of residents on that block were very happy and everything. So. I do appreciate what they did. Um, Jim McCready, who's a fireman in town, he's in the audience. And again, I uh, commend you. Uh, Joe Signorello Jr., who was there that day. Uh, again, you know, and don't forget, these are volunteers, uh, uh, which saves us a lot of money. Uh, <coughs> and again, they, they're out there, they're, they're you know, volunteering their time. So I do appreciate it. Uh, and also, I want to thank uh, the ShopRite of Clark, who donated to the Gasano Center donation. Um, we did very well. I believe there was nine or ten bags they gave us um, like that. I want to thank Rosanna for showing up, uh, Greg, Joe, uh, you know, uh, and also Ruben for all he does. So uh, me and Ruben went there, picked the stuff up, and... Uh, Again, I uh, appreciate uh, everything. Uh, again, sh and I did talk to the lady from ShopRite, and she, she's willing to give us more as the uh, you know the year goes by. But I do appreciate um, all the council that showed up. I, you know, uh, if you need to contact me, get me at Jay Petrosky at RoseLaPark.net, 908-666-7821. That's my report, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. Councilman Johnson. Yes, good evening, Mayor, Council, and residents. <clears throat> yes, I just want to say thank you to Council for voting uh, the Veterans Amendment. Um, I think that was a, the right move. We expand the parking, and it's, it's actually going to be utilized. So thank you. For, uh, the veterans will be happy with that. Um, also, finally, we received correspondence from uh, NJDOT, um, Midriff, uh, if, I, if I'm pronouncing her name correctly, I'm sorry if I'm jacking it up. Meredith. <laughs> Meredith, okay, sorry. All good. Uh, yeah, so she she says that they finally got in contact with the project manager and that sometime March, April, uh, we'll be able to have a discussion regarding the Route 28 um, potential concepts. Uh, we had tabled or took off uh, uh, something. I was kind of trying to, uh, you know, put for some sort of momentum because I just felt like everybody was sitting on their hands. So uh, finally we got correspondence and I, I appreciate it. 
So um, as soon as I get a date, hopefully we can set up some sort of workshop with all the council because Route 28 affects pretty much every ward, pretty much. <laughs> maybe maybe missing a second. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but pretty much every ward, and um, I'm just tired of Route 28. Thank you for your efforts, Greg. Thank you. Um, also, I wanted to say um, kudos to uh, Councilman uh, Petrowski for that Feb on February 28th, uh, inviting me to, to uh, help uh, bring you know the food over there to the food pantry. That's an outstanding thing that you did. Um, and and anytime you call me for my su support, and especially we're going to be giving out food to families that need it, it's a no-brainer. So. Um, such a positive action. Thank you. Also, um, I look forward on March 16th celebrating St. Patrick's Day. I had the opportunity to attend March 1st, uh, the Union County flag raising, and I just love uh, celebrating different cultures and embracing those things. And uh, I just want to tell the general public, uh, I look forward to seeing a, a more diverse uh, uh, response to these different cultural events. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, just the um, mayor, you, you missed discussion, but just to, to go back for one second, uh, I would like to eventually also revisit 2649, and I'm talking in discussion of uh, 9024. So when we get a chance, I would like to uh, uh, bring that back up since we have a new fresh council. So this way we could set forth the guidelines that we see fit, uh, especially after a three to four or five year hiatus. Uh, just so, Craig, just to yeah, let you know, so the, the thought behind it, I think, now is. So we do have a, just so everybody, because we haven't, we did a lot of redevelopment a couple of years ago. We haven't done it in a while. Um, so there's three stages. Well, there's, yeah, there's th three stages to it. There's the redevelopment study, just is the area. Uh, I got it. There we go. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> been doing this for a little bit now. <laughs> uh, the uh, redevelopment study, just whether or not an area qualifies for an area of redevelopment. There's a redevelopment plan, which sets the broad parameters. And then there's the redevelopment agreement, which is just thou shall build this and it shall be this height and it shall have brick face and it shall have this many units and yada, yada, yada. I think what it would make sense to do is bring it back to the plan, plan. phase. That's what I was about Correct. to say. Yeah. But you, yeah. you so, so, so we already have, good I want to I wanna go back to the plan. Yeah. Good news is we already have a plan already. I think we just need to circle tweak up it. as a team. We need to tweak it up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And if it's, if we need to amend the plan to say, you know, it needs to go from four stories to three stories or X number of units, yada, yada, yada. I would just like to have a sidebar conversation with council beforehand. Absolutely. This way the developer knows what he's getting in for. Um, but I do agree it's warranted to take it back a step and, yeah. you know, happy to do that. And that's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to revisit the plan. So thank you. Yep. Uh, uh, and uh, lastly, um, I, have, uh, <laughs> I have a lot of ordinances that need to be addressed, but since Andrew's not here, I don't want to overwhelm uh, Rich. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I'll be a little bit patient, but one of uh, two of those, uh, especially one of them is the noise ordinance, and I know we had a sidebar about that. Uh, so we're working up here. Uh, um, please remember, your votes matters. And um, as First Ward Council, I will always place the concerns of Roosevelt Park first. So if you need to get in contact with me, please uh, call me 908-303-1519, or you can reach me at gjohnson at roosevelpark.net, and that concludes my report. Yeah, you guys might want to connect afterwards because I know – so actually it's funny. So Rich and I talked the other day. Um, Rich actually did some reading, and he's like, this noise ordinance makes absolutely no sense. Um, so I don't know if you guys connected, but I actually think he's been doing some research of some noise ordinances I, in the area. I actually gave him a compliment. He didn't know I, I gave him a compliment. Oh, okay, because yeah. I, I think he's done some pre-work well, on I was, it. I was talking about yeah. the Cranford one. and then He, he was, picked up on the Cranford like, one. I was the one that did that. I was like, well, see, yeah. there we are. <laughs> so I think, I think that my hope is we talked with the planner about this. I'd love to just – when you guys have a draft, I – uh, look, you work the way you want to work. I always work better when there's something that I could react to. Absolutely. You guys just come up with a draft and you give, hey, uh, uh, you know, whatever, and we'll tweak it from there. Absolutely. But I think that's one we could definitely tackle without Andrew here, considering this is your baby one way or the other. Okay, cool. Good. But you have these guys at your disposal. So, yeah. Okay. Councilman Signorello? So last Friday, I, I uh, went to the community nursery school on Chester, uh, excuse me, on uh, Grant Ave, and I read uh, left feet, right feet. 
I have enjoyed uh, uh, class. It was the older class, and uh, I, I wore my fire hat. And I always like to teach about smoke detectors and carbon carbon monoxide detectors. It's a little tough for five year olds, but we we had a good time. We brought the gear in and um, enjoyed myself. Uh, and I'm looking forward. To, I'm going to read tomorrow at Sherman School. So it's always good to have that little infomercial about bringing a smoke detector and teaching these kids. While well, I'm going to get into that, um, sp speaking for the fire chief tonight, we did have a, a major fire on Walnut Street, and like the Councilman uh, Petrowski said, and Jim McCready actually is a uh, safety uh, um, uh, officer, and he actually yelled at me that day, and he, and he was right. <laughs> I didn't have my gloves on for something. So he, he was doing his job, and I told him he was right. Um, we got a lot of help from the surrounding counts, Kenilworth. Of, most of you know, we have like an urgent response with Kenilworth. We work together closely, and then when it gets larger, we have to call in the uh, rest of the com uh, county and communities to help us. All went well. It was 106 on a Friday, and uh, very proud of the Roselle Park Fire Department and uh, all the surrounding communities to help us. Now, I do want to speak about a fire we had that uh, nobody really much knew about it at 345 one night on Dalton Street. Uh, I'm going to, uh, these folks left a candle on, and um, please, when you leave the house, make sure the candles are blown out. My biggest problem that night, we installed four smoke detectors in this dwelling that night at 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. So we get them from the Division of Fire Safety to give them to the municipalities to, you know, we hung them up. We didn't want to leave there that night. So look, it's uh, daylight savings time is coming Saturday. Please, smoke detectors, smoke detectors, carbon monoxide detectors. And, uh, you know, get it if you have an extinguisher. I know when you have a, get a CO or a rental property or buying a house, you have an extinguisher, purchase an extinguisher. I'm not going to tell you to be, be a fireman. Uh, uh, always call 911 and get out. But if you think you uh, can utilize the extinguisher, do what you got to do. Please call 911 first. And I've actually learned something new in my 44 years, 43 years. Uh, you can use an extinguisher to escape the building, escape the house. So just a little uh, infomercial on that. So other than that, I uh, need to get a hold of me. And if you don't have an extinguisher, uh, excuse me, smoke detector, and I, I think Donna, the last time, we got a few uh, imbalance, but call uh, the borough clerk and we'll uh, get you um, an, a, um, a smoke detector for your home. So, like I said, four of them in this house on Dalton at 3.30 in the morning. That's four too many. So, and thanks to our construction department and we're working on uh, some scenarios at, at this facility. And uh, other than that, you need to get a hold of me. Jay Signorella, rosapark.net. Have a good night. Thank you, Councilman. Um, what do I have? Uh, so I was asked to remind everybody uh, that um, the PTO is having a tricky tray May 4th. I believe that's the Kenworth American Legion. Uh, I will be the host, um, so hope you're there. Uh, I will be sweating and trying to make people laugh for a good two hours um, and failing absolutely miserably like I do every year, um, or at least the past two years. Um, so uh, that'll be fun and exhausting, but <laughs> for a good cause. Um, and then April 13th uh, at Costa's from 7 to 11 p.m., there will be a Wear What You Graduated fundraiser. Uh, also for the, uh, I think it's for project graduation. Um, so uh, would love to see you guys there. Um, I graduated in 2006 and I'm wearing basically the same stuff. So uh, can't imagine the jeans are a little bit skinnier, but not that much. So um, that's it. Well, uh, jeans, I mean, skinny jeans aren't even cool anymore. The the, the cool kids are wearing dad jeans, so I don't, I don't know. Um, uh, Mayor Sig, if you, Mayor Sig uh, at rosalpark.net, if you have any questions. Other than that, that uh, concludes my report. Um, may I have a motion to open the public portion on any subject? So move. Second. All in favor? Uh, aye. aye. If you'd like to come up and speak, you may do so now. Schwartz. I just wanted to thank uh, 
Councilman Signorella for coming to read at the preschool. I know you had just mentioned it, but the kids loved it. They're still talking about it. Aww. And I have the video of him reading the book, if anybody wants to see. <laughs> I'm good. So thank you. The kids loved it. No, I love it. Thanks, Dina. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, good evening, all councilmen. My name is Michelle Mena, and I currently reside. And women. At, and women, sorry. <laughs> and, uh, um, I currently reside at 229 West Westfield Ave, and um, I have an issue with parking. I am not allowed to park on West Westfield Ave when there is inclement weather, not allowed to park on the surrounding streets of Hawthorne or Columbus, and I'm not allowed to park on West Clay Avenue as I don't have permit parking. Currently, the residence that I reside in does not have a driveway. I am a single divorced mother with two young children under the age of five years old, and I also have an aunt who has cancer for the second time residing on that property with me who went through a stem cell transplant right before the two snowstorms that we had um, in two back-to-back -back weeks. Um, I don't know what the solution is. Maybe possibly allow residents that don't have driveways that do reside on West Westfield Ave to have permit parking and be allowed to park on the surrounding side streets or allow us to get some sort of pass and let us remain parked on the main road. I can't park anywhere else. Yep. So two young children in a snowstorm. I've had an issue where I actually last year um, passed out on my kitchen floor and had to call 911. My kids, I can't get them to walk in a snowstorm somewhere else. Yep. So please understand that matter. Yeah. Um, we're looking for some sort of solution. Any solution would be greatly appreciated. Cool. Yeah. So I, we talked a little bit beforehand. It is a sticky situation. Um, I think there's reasons behind it. Unfortunately, um, I don't have the immediate answer. I know Councilman Patel has been working on some parking issues. That's the fourth ward. So it might be worth you guys connecting afterwards. Uh, unfortunately, again, our our administrator's out. So I kind of asked Councilman Patel just hold on that because parking is a pain in Roselle Park. That's a lot of peas that I just. Mm -hmm. you know, spat it off. Um, but I think it'd be good for you guys to connect afterwards um, to kind of fold that into the conversation when Andrew gets back on, you know, how we tackle that. I don't know the answer off the top of the dome. Oh. I just do, I do know, look, from a snow perspective, those are paved by NJDOT and it's probably a safety issue for people and your car, candidly, to leave it while the snow's there, so. So one of the big, is one of your biggest issues is the snow. Uh, emergency is is the big hit item out, out, of, out of your list well it's, yeah when the snowstorms happened there was two two uh, two weeks in a row and i was fined the 56 dollars both weeks and i paid them but there is nowhere for me to park i can't park on hawthorne it says permit parking only i can't park on columbus which is the other side street permit parking only and i can't park on west clay ave because it says permit Correct. parking only and I've looked to park some so a few more blocks down. I don't recall the street names. Same situation, street uh, permit parking only. And the residence that we have does not have a driveway. There is not two, even a- 229 two, 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 West Westfield yeah. Avenue. So in the past, I think the, uh, um, we've uh, opened our, through snowstorms to park. In. I know it's not an easy uh, lift, but, um, parking in our borough parking lot and then someone have to shuffle you back to your home but that that's one small option and i don't have a, a great answer for you like the mayor says like you said you could talk to mr patel i'll give you my card after but see we come up but they're just uh, so we're not going to have any more snow this year right i'm Right, I'm hoping. <laughs> you don't uh, know. Can, no, can no, 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 I know. Look, it's still, we've had March and April snow, snowstorm. So anyway, but that's just one option to park. And, and I believe uh, we've done that with big major snow events. But I think the process is still there that you would call, uh, uh, well, you could call us and, and say, look, you need to park your park uh, car in a, a municipal lot. Your car is a you know, Chevy or whatever, and we can take care of that. But uh, getting you back and forth, so. Like I said, between the two of us, see if we can help you out uh, and go through him first. If not, uh, you could call me, so. All right. Okay, thank you. And then I did want to present a second matter for my father. 
Um, he is over the age of 60 years old. He is still working and not retiring anytime soon. <laughs> Hardworking man. Um, and currently he takes the bus and commutes into New York City. And currently in order to take the bus from to New York City from my current residence, he either has to take it from Fatut or take the hike all the way by the. Just bank. do me a quick one. I know where you're going with this, and I, I just, I, you're running out of time because there's only three minutes. Um, email me where you want the bus stop. Okay. Ideally, mm -hmm. uh, I don't have a card on me, but Mayor Sig at rollsapark.net. You can find me. On, just tell me where you want it, and I'll lobby NJ Transit for it. Okay. Cool. Perfect. Thank you. She wants an extra bus stop, right? I just yes. fast forward. On. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to rush you. But, <laughs> no, it's fine. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> all right. Okay. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Yep. Yep. Very welcome. Uh, anybody else? I'm seeing no one. May I have a motion to close the public portion? So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, there is no closed session items. May I have a motion to adjourn? So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, everybody. I'm <laughs> sorry. I just like I know. Like